Hey, what's up everybody? It is DJ Jerry here with Shop Time, and I had a couple questions regarding the Living, Mo Living Motion Monogram uh, mount system. And uh, the question was, how do you use it in a hanging type system? So if you're gonna be hanging it on truss, or if you're going to actually, maybe you wanna put it vertically, um, connect it to truss and actually have a, a projector or even a, a TV, a small TV screen on there. Um, and Mike, I actually reached out to him, the, the designer and the creator of this amazing little piece. Um, I reached out to him and he's actually gonna give you guys a quick walkthrough on his suggestions for the Living Motion Monogram uh, system. So enjoy. Hey, what's going on, DJ Jared? This is Mike Anderson with 1% Solution and Living Motion Monograms. Now today I'm gonna to be showing you and everybody out there with Shop Time how you can take the X2 projector mount and use it on any pretty much any trusting system out there on the market today when it's all going to be done with just one little clamp so for those of you who have the x2 projector mount there or even if you don't this is what it looks like um, pretty sleek pretty uh, small and uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the top plate from the mounting system we'll set that aside and now inside here you guys aren't going to be able to see this but there is going to be a 9 16 bolt. So we're going to go and take our wrench here, find that bolt, and what we're going to do is just kind of unscrew that bolt from the bottom here. When it falls out, you will find the bolt and the lock washer. Now this bolt is a 3 8 inch bolt, and that's kind of the the secret behind all this that's basically what mounts anything to the bottom of our uh, living motion monograms ball mount here and quick release system so what we have to do is we have to find a clamp that's got a 3 8 inch bolt that'll go right into the bottom of this and after searching i think i found one uh, now one of the things i want to say though is that this isn't the only clamp that will work um, it, pretty much any clamp that you can put a 3 8 inch bolt into you can uh, use for this application so this is what I came up with this is actually uh, from nine solutions the Python clamp with 3 8 inch male thread and uh, we'll go ahead and put the little link to that uh, on uh, in the comment section below now with this clamp they, they run about 30 bucks online uh, but the cool thing about it is that it is kind of one of those clamshell clamps the inside has nice rubber surface so it grips onto the trussing really nice and i believe it'll hold up to a two it'll hold on to up to a two inch uh truss bar so uh from two inch all the way down to uh even smaller diameters but the secret is it's got that three eighths inch threading on the top here and so all we have to do is take this thread it into the bottom of our ball mount We can tighten that up. Now the cool thing with the uh, Living Motion Monograms ball mount here is that on the back side here, you can just loosen up this clamp and if you need to turn it uh, to get it in the right angle, it actually will turn 360 degrees in any direction. So once we get that set up, then we can go ahead and take our projector, which will have our uh, little patent pending plate design that will mount to the bottom of your projector. And that just simply slides in. When it slides in, you're gonna hear it lock. And that'll make it to where the safety feature makes it to where the plate will not come off of the mount until you're ready for it to by hitting the safety button there. So once we got it on, we'll tighten up our uh, tension knob on the side here. And then from here, what we can do is actually uh, mount this right onto the truss and uh, be able to position it anywhere you want, including 90 degrees straight down. Now the cool thing about this is that you don't have to just use this for projection. Um, one of the other cool features that uh, you were telling me about DJ Jura was that you used actually use this for a monitor uh, for an event that you recently did. So you can actually mount this directly to the back of an LCD monitor, computer monitor, and be able to uh, attach this to any surf or pretty much any bar, any surface, uh, or any uh, uh, area that you'd like. So even if you have to attach it in this direction, then what you can do is spin it around and you still have that full flexible tilt capabilities of, of uh, 
uh, this uh, ball mount that we have here. So take that. Um, as far as the uh, clamp goes, um, we've seen them online over at uh, Amazon, like I said, for about 30 bucks. And it is the Nine Solutions Python clamp. Uh, look for the one that says with 3 8 inch male thread. Uh, but also, you know, see what see what clamps you already have and see if you're able to get a 3 8 inch, three eighths inch bolt to go right through there. Um, and then use that one for your trussing systems. Hope you guys like the tip and we'll see you on the next one. So as you can see, Mike gave us a really good tip. Uh, there's a couple things that you really want to make sure that you think about. Uh, my system's a little bit different where mine doesn't actually have the bolt. It actually unscrews this entire unit from the ball joint. And um, when he was talking about the size, the 3 8 uh, bolt that actually goes in there, um, this is actually a your typical, your typical clamp that you would see for um, trussing or um, even uh, mounting, you know, your, your moving head, or not your moving heads, but your special effect lights and things like that. Uh, and one thing I really want you to pay attention to is don't force this onto your clamp. So make sure you get a clamp or a, a bolt that's actually going to work depending on the thread. So you can see this is about the right size and you'll notice it actually goes on a couple spins, but then all of a sudden it gets tight. It, it can't spin anymore. I don't recommend keeping trying to get the thing to spin on so you get it on there because otherwise this is not going to go back on correctly and you're really going to screw up screw up this little system here. Um, so again, don't force this on. And also when you are doing this or you're, you're screwing this thing in, make sure that you are screwing it so it's nice and tight to the clamp and you don't have this gap like you see there. So again, just a little tidbit after some of the, the great pointers that Mike has pre presented. If you have questions, feel free to send those questions or, or type in those questions and comments down below in this video. Otherwise, you can always email me at jeremy at djjrshoptime.com. Guys, thanks for watching. Mike, thank you so much. Great product. Love it. Keep it up. We'll see you guys next time.